Welcome everyone. First, let me say how honored I am to be invited by the Library of Congress American Folk Life Center to be part of their concert series, Homegrown at Home. These concerts will be presented every Wednesday at noontime Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so be sure to t tune in. And speaking of homegrown at home, we are actually in my home right now. Rather than being in Washington, D.C., we are just up the road in Tacoma Park, Maryland. So welcome to my home, and I hope you enjoy my concert. I think I will start with a, a an instrumental that I made up slash stole that I call Anacostia Two-Step. It's a song that I wrote years ago that used to have lyrics and then I got tired of singing the negative lyrics and I decided to turn it into just a celebratory uh, dance song. So if the spirit hits you, feel free to get up and dance. Anacostia Two-Step. <laughs> cost you a two-step for you uh, and uh, so thinking about this uh, concert I thought uh, because it is being hosted by the Library of Congress I thought I would do a couple of songs that are from the Lomax collection that that is housed there at the Library of Congress um, and I thought I would do I can't really see I thought I would do a couple of, of songs that I've found there at the Library of Congress. Uh, the, there are field howlers, I guess you could call them. Uh, they were recorded at different penitentiaries uh, in the Deep South. I think uh, one may have been uh, recorded at Parchment uh, Farm in Mississippi. I know that one of them, uh, No Cane on the Brazos, was recorded at a Texas uh, penitentiary. So 
when I when I think about these songs, I always think of the the history uh, behind them, being that after emancipation, um, there were in the Deep South there was enacted these black codes, also known as Jim Crow laws, and uh, if you were of African descent and you uh, broke one of these codes, you would be arrested and thrown in jail, and someone from a plantation or a copper mine or a rock quarry would come and quote unquote pay your fine and take you and put you to work uh, on their plantation or their whatever they, they had going. Um, what I understand is that these were really brutal conditions that people worked under because the investment in the labor was so small that the uh, employer, <laughs> quote unquote, had not much uh, motivation to take care of the workers. And the workers were often just worked to death and then replaced by other uh, prisoners. So that's what I th think of when I'm uh, doing these songs. Uh, I think I'll do first one. I happen to know the singer of this song is a man named Charles Butler, who the Lomaxes recorded, excuse me, recorded twice. Uh, and I think they're, the recordings are about seven years apart in two different uh, penitentiaries where they found him. And But the song is called uh, Diamond Joe. Excuse me.
Ain't gonna tell you no story, neither a word lie. I thought I heard my Maybell come, or didn't she pass on by? Diamond Joe, come and get me. Diamond Joe, come and get me. Diamond Joe, come and get me. Diamond Joe. <laughs> Well, my pants is torn and I got no patches. Diamond Joe, you better come at me. Diamond Joe, come and get me. Diamond Joe. Well, I'm down here and I can't get home. I'm down here, Joe, you better come on. Diamond Joe, come and get me, Diamond Joe. <laughs> Diamond Joe. Now I'm going to do another one collected from the penitentiary and also collected by the Low Maxis. And this one is No Cane on the Brazos, which uh, was recorded in a Texas penitentiary. No Cane on the Brazos. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no more cane on the brass. Oh, it's all been ground in molasses. Tell me what did you do, boy, for to get so long? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I saved my Donnie from the high sheriff's son. Should have been on the river, 19 and 10. 
They was rolling the women like they drove the men. Mm-hmm. Well, it's some in the building, some in the yard. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some in the grave, some going home. Mm -hmm. Well, you should have been on the river, 19 and 4. Oh. It was finding a dead man every turn and roll. Oh, 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 oh. But there's no more king on the brass. Oh. They have grounded home in molasses. Oh, 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 oh. no more cane on the Brazos. All right. I thought I'd finish out by doing a song. The song was written by a man who called himself Scrap Iron. And it's a song about a preacher. You know, and there's a lot of preachers, you know, that preach and live their life. They're all about uh, grace and redemption and compassion. And then on the other side, there are a lot of preachers that were about themselves. Now, I didn't make this song. This song was written, like I said, by a man named Scrap Iron, but it reminds me of a story that my mother told me once uh, years ago about an experience she had at her church in Titusville, Alabama, when she was a young girl. When she was a young teenager, the WPA came through Titusville and they were teaching the young girls office skills. And my mother uh, took part in that. Uh, and she excelled at typing and shorthand and all those other office skills. And she really did well. And uh, so my grandmother was very proud of her. And uh, one day when the preacher was at their house, my grandmother was bragging on my mother how, how well she was doing with her, her uh, lessons, her office skill lessons and the preacher said well you know she should not neglect her church duties and she should come and put in some time in the church office uh you know put into use all these skills she learned and so my grandmother sent my mother to the church to the church office and my mother told me that when the preacher got her alone in the office according to her she quote said that he said uh he wanted to be her boyfriend. And my mother bolted away from the church office and ran home and she told my grandmother what had happened. And my grandmother said, well, doll, she called my mother doll. She said, doll, I'm gonna tell you two things. Number one, you must never ever be alone in a room with the preacher. And second, and most important, you must never tell Bro Wilson, your brother Wilson, that's my uncle Wilson, you must never tell him what the preacher said. That was my uncle Wilson who appears in some of my songs and he had a reputation for getting things straight. So it would not have been good for him to hear what the preacher had said to my mother. So anyway, 
that's what I think about when I do this song, Jimmy Bell, Jimmy Bell's in town. Let me make sure I have the right harmonica. Well, Jimmy Bell in town, and he's walking round. He got enough greenback dollars, sweet baby, make a man a suit. Make a man a suit. Make a man a suit. He got enough greenback dollars, sweet baby, make a man a suit. Jimmy Bell told his sister, on your knees not to shout. He said, if you don't pay that money fee, I'm going to turn you out. I'm gonna turn you out. He said, if you don't pay that money fee, I'm gonna turn you out. Well, Jimmy Bell in the pulpit, the Bible in his hand. Well, all the sisters sitting back in the corner, crying, Jimmy Bell, my man. Jimmy Bell, my man. Jimmy Bell, my man. Well, all the sisters sitting back in the corner, crying, Jimmy Bell, my man. Well, Jimmy Bell told the sexton, Go and tone the bell. He said, Cause some of these old members here will show sure it's going to hell. Will show sure it's going to hell. Will show sure it's going to hell. He said, cause some of these old members here will show sure is going to hell.
Jim and Belle told his wife. <laughs> Sit on late last night. <laughs> he said if times don't get no better here, babe, up the road I'm going. <laughs> up the road I'm going. Up the road I'm going. He said, if times don't get no better here, babe, up the road I'm going. Up the road I'm going If times don't get no better here, babe, up the road I'm going Right. Jimmy Bell is a bad man. So, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed something in my uh, presentation. And uh, thanks again to the Library of Congress American Folklife Center for inviting me to be part of this. And be sure to tune in to the, their website, www.loc.gov forward slash folk life. Uh, so be sure to tune in, check out their website and to tune in for the rest of this concert series, which as I say, is every Wednesday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And thank you so much for tuning into my session and for being uh, in my home. Uh, thank you very much and goodbye.